Hi guys, it's Michael here. Um, look at me looking all casual with my arm here on my new desk. <laughs> um, I thought now I'm back from Florida and now I'm actually feeling a lot better because as some of you guys might know, I actually caught flu and a chest infection while I was on my holiday. So yeah, not the best ending to the holiday, but I didn't let it stop me from having a great time. Um, anyway, I thought it's time to do a shopping haul because it's one of the things I was really looking forward to showing you guys when I got back, you know, all the goodies I got. Um, not just Disney things, I got things at Universal, things at SeaWorld, um, and things at other places too. So, the big dilemma is where do I start? So, there's quite a Star Wars theme and a Halloween theme with my um, purchases from Florida. And I'm not really going to do them in any particular order. So, let's see just what's closest to my reach. So, this first thing is a lovely... Um, Universal Monsters wallet and obviously being Universal Monsters this came from Universal Studios um, <clears throat> One thing with this video <laughs> Actually two things. I might cough a little bit because yeah, I'm still trying to get over the um, flu The other thing is I can't remember the prices for everything because I did take most of the prices off when I came back and um, Didn't really keep the receipts because I thought I need to but yeah, I'm a massive Universal Horror fan um, If so, of you guys will probably know at Universal Studios, they do a Universal um, horror makeup show, and they do a massive tribute to all the um, characters like Dracula, Frankenstein, and loads of other things. So um, yeah, I've I've needed a new wallet for oh, so maybe three four years, and I just thought this is pretty good, and I just totally love the retro design, so so good. Um, and I've, I didn't even realise this <laughs> inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not going to focus. It says um, Rock Rebel. <laughs> like to think I'm a bit of Rock Rebel myself, so yeah, I really, really like that. Um, price wise, I think this was about, what was it? It was about $20, $25. Um, plus, you have to remember the prices, obviously, they add tax on to everything pretty much. There's not many places I remember going to where they didn't add tax on. Um, maybe a few food places, but it always says wherever you're buying things, you know, plus tax. Um, so staying with the universal thing, I have, <coughs> excuse me, a clapperboard frame from Universal. Um, I had one of these years ago, I'd say a good 10 years ago, and um, I think I lost it during a move, but I thought, no, I've got to get one. But the, one of the reasons I brought this was because as you can see in the picture, when I met Marilyn Monroe and the girls, I just thought, when I looked back at the picture on my phone, I thought, that looked really, really good in the clapperboard frame. So, yeah. And this has actually got the price on the back. I forgot to take it off. And this was 9 95 Not too bad. Obviously, it's a 6 by 4 frame. Um, and look at me. I've just moved the picture over. <laughs> there you go. That's better. But yeah, I don't think 9 is bad. Um, 6 by 4 frame. You can get 5 by 7 frames, too. Um, kind of a shame I don't do an 8x10 frame, I know obviously that would be a lot bigger, but it also would be a bit more realistic for a real clapperboard. But no, I still love this. And this actually sits around here on my desk, so... <laughs> um, i tell you one thing, I'm going to really, really run out of space here. But who cares? So, um, okay, next. Now, um, one of the days when I was in Florida, I wanted to do a bit of a shopping trip to have a bit more of a relaxing start to the day. <clears throat> So I thought, where should I go? Should I go to one of the outlets or Disney Springs or should I go to the Florida Mall? So I ended up getting a um, Lyft. So if you guys don't know what Lyft is, it's basically like another version of Uber. Um, so yeah, so I got one of them to the Florida Mall. And before I went, I remember um, from last year watching some vloggers on YouTube. They showed there was these Halloween stalls. They're called Spirit Halloween. I mean, obviously we don't get these back here in England. Um, if any of you guys are American watching this, you're probably thinking, oh, what a shame. Because, yeah, it really is a big shame. These Halloween stores are absolutely amazing. But, anyway, I wasn't sure if they had one near the Florida Mall. Because, for some reason, I was sure I watched a vlog and it had a spirit store near um, the Florida Mall. And, um, much to my luck, <laughs> once I got to the Florida Mall, I walked over the road to where the old Toys R Us used to be. Because I remembered where that was. And um, that's where they put the spirit store. So, I was like, wow, what a lucky guess. I honestly didn't know it was there, so I was so, so pleased. But anyway, once in there, I um, thought, oh, what should I buy? Because there was a few things I really, really wanted to buy, because apart from Disney and films in general, I'm a massive Halloween fan. 
when I say Halloween, I, mean, I don't mean the actual time of year, which I do love, but I mean the Halloween films. And one thing I've wanted to buy for a long, long time is a Michael Myers mask. So if you guys are scared, scared of creepy masks, you want to turn away now. And I will tell you when I've finished with this bit. <laughs> well, here it is. <laughs> now, if you guys are um, Michael Myers fans or fans of the Halloween series, then you might better tell this is a replica of the mask from the first and second film. And it's pretty pricey. This cost me $60 plus tax. But because it's a film replica, I didn't mind paying a bit over the odds. And uh, one thing I do need to get is a, um, a head bust for this because I'd love to put this up somewhere. <laughs> well, the only problem is it's going to scare visitors whenever they come over here. But um, I find with this, because the film obviously it's in the dark, like the bright light in the room doesn't really do it justice. So I'm just going to turn the light off and see if, um, if the camera will pick it up. So one second. Right, and I'm also going to put it on too. So let's see if this works. <laughs> Doesn't really work properly, but. <laughs> they put the light back on. But yeah, I do think it's a lot more effective in the dark. Um, I mean, look at that. I think that, that is really cool. And the Lord said, let there be light, apparently. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was one of my purchases from the Spirit Store. Um, one Another thing with the Spirit Store is, I'd read on a few um, Facebook groups that they were selling special Hocus Pocus merchandise. And Hocus Pocus is one of my favourite all-time Disney films. Um... And here in the UK, you can't really get much to do with the film other than the film itself. And what, I know they do sell over here the um, pop figures, but I've never really seen them in the shops. So anyway, after I got the mask, because I, I took a trolley around with me, and I also did a vlog of the store too, which I'll um, be posting on the channel. But um, yeah, after I got my Michael Myers mask, I found the, the Hocus Pocus section. And it was massive. They had... Costumes from the film, so you could dress up as the Sanderson sisters. They had um, a tombstone with Billy Butcherson. That is his name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, please tell me I'm not wrong. Um, they had so many different things. It was so good. I, mean, I could have spent hundreds and hundreds in there. I did spend over a hundred in there. But, um, so, what Hocus Pocus things did I buy? I will show you. So I've got a set of four glasses, and I'm just going to put them down here on the table. And they're shot glasses, and um, I'm not really much of a drinker, so shot glasses are a bit lost on me for the actual purpose, but I just thought they'd look good um, on my um, displays. So they've got different designs, so this one says a muck, a muck, a muck. <laughs> Fans of the film will know that quite pretty well. This one's one of my favourite quotes Goodbye, cruel world. Said by Winifred Sanderson or Bette Midler. I like this one too. Witches be crazy. <laughs> it's really cool. I just I totally love these. Um got one with Binks the cat as well. Binks is my boo. Um I don't get that quote, I'm not sure if that's an American thing. I'm pretty sure that's not a line from the film, but I could I could be wrong. Um but I thought I knew the script pretty well. Anyway, so that was them. And they cost um they weren't that bad actually, I think they were about ten dollars for the set. I think that's pretty good. Now the next two things, um, Hocus Pocus related from Spirit Store, are actually very, very similar. So there's this notepad, and I, I just totally love this, the Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft. I think this is such a cool design. Just show you that a bit close up. Um, yeah, I really, really love this. And this was um, only $7.99, so again, I thought that was pretty good. Because when I was buying things out there, I was kind of comparing the um, exchange rate, so... This back here, back home in England, would cost about probably five ninety nine. Again, I don't think that's too bad for a theme diary. Sorry, it's not really a diary; it's a notepad. But I love the inside. Um, you got this. You got the sisters, and I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. <laughs> yeah, it's just literally um blank inside. Might use that as my work um notepad next year. 
So yeah, that's that. And the other thing that's very, very similar, well, almost an exact copy, is the same design, but on a canvas. And I don't know why, but I really, really love the design. I, I think it's because I love the film. Um, you have to excuse me for not focusing on the camera properly. Um, I'm still trying to get used to filming on my mobile, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's a pretty good size. This was um, 14.99. Again, not too bad. Um, got to think of if I can put it on the wall or maybe just display it somewhere in there. I'll find space for it. I'll make space for it. So yeah, that's all the things I brought in um, the spirit store. So after that, I headed over to the Florida Mall, and I haven't been to the Florida Mall um, since my last trip. So that was six years ago. And I knew from reading online that they had a few more um, like kind of geeky stores. When I say geeky stores, I mean like things that sell film memorabilia, which is totally up my street. You know, things that sell like the pop figures. You know, themed shirts. Just loads of shops like that, because that is really, really big American culture, and I, I totally love that. I wish we had sh more shops here like that. But anyway, <laughs> there was one pop figure I really, really wanted. Well, no, there was three. I wanted all three sisters from Hocus Pocus. And really, unfortunately, I could only get one, but I was pretty happy, because it was, in my opinion, the main Sanderson sister. So, Winnie Sanderson. <laughs> I don't know if Bette Midler would be happy with the likeness. I'm sure she would, because apparently Bette Midler loves Hocus Pocus. It's the favourite thing she's done, but yeah. That was pretty cool. But when I was... <clears throat> excuse me. When I was looking at the figures, I was just, you know, really keen to see what ones they have in America that you can't get over here, because I'm not actually a massive um, pop vinyl, pop funko, whatever you want to call them. I'm not really a big collector on them. I actually take mine out of the box, so yeah. I know that's a sin for collectors, but yeah. I'm not a collector. But I thought, you know, what ones can I find? And I got one that's really, really cool to me because, well, as you can see now, I'm wearing a Liverpool shirt. And I managed to get um, one of my favourite Liverpool players, which is um, the big Dutchman, Virgil van Dijk. And this is a figure which isn't actually available in the UK, or it wasn't when I went out there, although it is now I've come back. But I thought, yeah, it's quite cool to get an exclusive one. But the figures were actually um, cheaper out there. They were about 8 99 which I thought was pretty good. Again, that would be about, I don't know about about seven pounds so yeah good value um don't, no i didn't get anything else at the florida mall so what should we move on to next you can probably see this um thing here behind me that is my um personal lightsaber which i built at savvy's workshop but i'm not going to get onto the lightsabers just yet um some there are some things here which i can't actually include because i'm i'm gonna make this a two-part video so some of the things are presents I brought for people. Um, one of them was a um, Florida license plate. I got that for my nan's partner. Uh, for my nan, I got a beautiful um, wooden dolphin statue from SeaWorld. She, she loves that. She loves dolphins. I like dolphins too. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, another thing I brought was for my mum. I brought her... Um, I'm sure you guys probably know over here that you can buy the Disney tradition ornaments. And they did this beautiful one in a teacup. It was... Um, Jack and Gut, Gus Gus from Cinderella, and they called him Gut Gut for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Gus Gus. So I brought that, that was really nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else I brought. There's a couple more presents I brought for people. A lot of them were um, chocolates you can't put over here, like um, these here, which I have. Mint chocolate M&Ms. These are just, oh, these are something else. Um, why they don't do them over here, I'll never know. They'd be so popular. Anyway, I'm going to move on to something I brought from SeaWorld for myself. Oh, another thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a part two to this, is going to be all the clothing I brought out there, because I did buy quite a lot of shirts. So, I'll get this one over and done with, because I know some of you guys either love or hate SeaWorld, so this was a nice little ornament with the park and with the orcas, because I do love killer whales. Yeah, that was a nice little bit. Um, ah, one thing I will show you, which is vital to my trip, my first ever magic band. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it, wrap it pro probably put it on my wrist, but yeah, so obviously you could get so many different designs, and I wanted to go for a Star Wars one, so I went for one with BB 8 on it, which probably isn't gonna focus, but oh well, yeah, it was pretty cool. 
I think this one was one of the more expensive ones because I think they do them in two tier prices unless it's like a exclusive one which is quite a lot of money. I think this was, I don't know, about $16, $16 to $20. Not bad because like I said, I use this every time I was at Disney. So good. Magic bands are brilliant. Paris, you need magic bands. So I'm going to show you an exclusive thing I brought that was only available at the Halloween party. That's Mickey's Not So Scary Party, which was amazing. Again, it's the Hocus Pocus theme. It was a, one of my only mugs I brought on the trip. This was the, um, I said it's the Hocus Pocus one. I love the design on the back though. Um, I'm sorry it's not focusing for you guys, but yeah, you got the, the sisters on there. Really, really cool. I love that one. Um, not the biggest mug for a drink. Probably a bit awkward to drink out, but I won't be drinking out of it. That will be firmly on display. And I have got another mug actually, which I forgot to get with my collection. It's literally just behind the camera. So, one of my favourite restaurants, which a lot of you guys will know out there or would have heard of it, is Denny's Diner. So I brought a Denny's Diner mug. Um, the the waitress um, who was there that day when I brought it was so lovely. She brought out about ten different mugs because they all had different sayings. And for some reason, I just I just like this one. Um, I forgot what it said. Don't you wish? I can't even speak probably. Don't you wish on some mornings you could just inhale coffee like air? Sometimes I do when I get to work. I think, oh, nice coffee. It gets me in the mood. <laughs> yeah, these were only um, $3 from the restaurant. I thought, that's so cheap. But it's a really good sized mug. I will probably use this um, for drinks here at home. Put that back there. And... Right. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go back to Universal now. Um... Apologies if this is too long for some of you guys. Um, skip through it if you want to, but hopefully you're enjoying it. So, as some of you guys will know, Universal has the Wisdom World of Harry Potter. And last time I went, Diagon Alley section of Universal um, wasn't built. But obviously now it is, and naturally I had to get a wand in Ollivanders, didn't I? So I ended up buying two. <laughs> Not at the same time. <clears throat> so first up is Luna Lovegood's wand. I believe this is actually a second one because there was a set out there which I was going to buy which had a different Luna Lovegood one and I asked about it and they said um, that's actually her first one which you can't buy on its own so yeah maybe I'll treat myself that collection next time yeah really 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 nice this one is obviously it makes a massive difference if you're a Harry Potter fan but I love Harry Potter uh, Luna Lovegood is one of my favourite characters anyway um, it's got a really really nice um, feel to it this one has I've got a couple already which I've brought from um, different places here in England. But... Yeah, so that was my um, first one. And the, the ones were different prices. So I think this one was, I want to say $30, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> could have been a little bit more. Again, I'm sorry for the prices, but if you want to, guys, you can always Google it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is my second one. And this is in a nicer box. So this has the lovely... Um, Velvet part here, and this is Queenie Goldstein's wand from the Fantastic Beasts series. Again, she's one of my favourite characters, and I just I love the design of her wand with the um the pearl on it. I think that's just really beautiful. Yeah, yeah and this this one's really really light actually. Yeah, another one to the collection. He says now he can't get it back in the box. <laughs> It's good thing the camera's not lower because this looks an absolute mess of all the stuff here on my bed. But I haven't got a work surface, so I make do with what I've got. So that's that was pretty much all the purchases from Universal. Again, apart from the clothing, but I will show you that in my next shopping haul video, which will be a lot shorter than this one. So I think I'm going to leave all the Star Wars stuff till last because that's what I've got most of. So I'm going to show you now. Oh. Something a little bit special. <laughs> a birthday card I brought. I, I didn't buy it, I got it. This is given to me by a cast member when I went through um, the Muppets, Muppets Vision. See? <laughs> I thought I'd keep that, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to show you some of my artwork which I brought. As, you, as some of you guys might know, I, I absolutely love artwork. Um, you can see I've got posters behind me. Um, I won't do a tour of the room, but 
I've got loads of different Disney art pieces, but I wasn't anticipating the amount of nice things I would find in America. It seems silly, really, because obviously there's a lot more stores out there compared to Disneyland Paris. But anyway, the first two I want to show you are by an artist called Larry Dotson, and I actually met him. He was in Epcot signing a few days, one of the weeks I was there, and some of his artwork's just incredible. But because you could meet him, um, he was signing all his art prints so free, free of charge. Obviously, you had to buy them. <laughs> But I, lo I love this one of the Tower of Terror. Absolutely st stunning this is. Um, and also on the back there's a little bit about the artist himself. I can't remember how much these were. But from what I remember they weren't overly pricey. Or not in my opinion. But he did personally sign it. So this one he said. Um, nice of you to drop in Michael. <laughs> this is the other one I brought from Larry. Now, one of the reasons I brought this was because um, I did the elephant tour at, at Animal Kingdom and I thought, oh, that's, you know, this would be a nice memory of doing that tour on that holiday. Plus, I love elephants anyway, so it was a match made in heaven, so to speak. <laughs> but um, what did you write on this one? Hakuna Matata. <laughs> yeah, su such a lovely guy. Um, I did get a selfie with him too. Um, naturally, because you know me, I like my selfies when I'm on holiday. <laughs> And this one, this one is um, a piece which I actually posted in the Facebook group saying, shall I buy it? Which was a silly question really, because I knew I was going to buy it, but interested to see what people thought. But here we go with the penguins from Mary Poppins. I absolutely love this. So I, I do have a bit of a Mary Poppins um, display, as you can kind of see. Well, there, can't really see that well, but yeah, I thought this was incredible. This wasn't this wasn't the cheapest print. I remember this being forty dollars actually, um, but I was gonna buy it. <laughs> You're on holiday, you've got to treat yourself, haven't you? That's the way I see it. Um, <clears throat> okay, ah, this one was really really cool. Being a big dog lover, I am. I um, couldn't resist buying this. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I think that is so cool. Roger and um, Pongo from One Hundred One Dalmatians. Well, that's a really, really lovely print. Um, this one was a bit cheaper. I think this one was about twenty nine ninety nine. <clears throat> Excuse me, but good prices. Well, I think they are anyway because they're, they're just beautiful art pieces. Um, here's another one. This is the biggest art piece I brought. Um, <laughs> I love this. Try not to cry, guys. Go know what Dumbo makes some people feel like. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just love this. So, so cute. Um, yeah, this one was about 39.99, I think. It was, yeah, I think it was about $40. Yeah, I love that. Like, I am gonna put all these on the wall um, probably after filming this, actually. And my last art piece is one that's very, very special to me. Because as some of you guys will know that have been in Disneyland Paris, they have the Art of Disney store. And they don't, as far as I know, they don't do any personalized artwork there, but in the um, Walt Disney World, there's loads of different Art of Disney stores. I saw um, I saw one at Epcot. There was one in the Magic Kingdom. And I believe there's one at Disney Springs. Possibly other parks too. But I spent a lot of time away in Epcot. Because for some, for some reason, Epcot was a park I spent loads more time in on this trip. But I, I became quite friendly with the artist in there. His name was Eddie. Really, really lovely guy. He was so, so chatty. And um, he ended up doing a um, personalised print for me. I did pay for it, of course. Um, it was... <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry. I think it was about $40. But it was Anna and Elsa from Frozen. I just... I totally love this. It's it's just... It's just a lovely memory of that trip. And, you know, obviously he, put, he signed it too. And I do love the characters of Anna and Elsa. And I just thought, that's really lovely. Um, probably doesn't do it justice. But there you go. It's a good shot of it. Lovely. <laughs> Look at me smiling, think of the trip. <laughs> um, okay, yes, that's the last of the art prints. Now, on to the Star Wars section. Right, one thing, this isn't something I brought, but I just thought I'd show you guys. So this is the Galaxy's Edge map, which they're handing out at the moment. Um, I didn't get one of these until I actually left on my last day. Um, so there was me walking around Galaxy's Edge without a map. <laughs> Didn't matter, because first time I went there, I bumped straight into Ray, so <laughs> it was a pretty good start. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
So, um, I'll check two more art prints I've got. Okay, so I kind of lied, I haven't got more art, but these are um, just Star Wars ones. So you've got this poster ripper two. Obviously it's a lot smaller. I think this was about twelve ninety nine. I could be wrong. There's probably there's probably people watching this thinking, I paid more for that. You probably pay the same as me, but I got the wrong prices. I really like this. I thought this is really cool. And <laughs> this one I had to get. I love this. The poster for the cantina with um DJ Rex. For you Star Tours fans, um, especially the original version of the ride, you might remember um, Captain Rex in the cockpit. Now he's the DJ at the um, Ogre's Cantina, which is the main bar at um, Galaxy's Edge, which is an amazing place. But I won't talk about it too much because I will be showing you guys that in more detail during um, future vlogs. So, we, um, well, see, the, well, these are the last things pretty much for Star Wars stuff. So this was an ornament I brought, a black spire outpost, which is basically um, part of Galaxy's Edge. So this is pretty much a ornament of the um, Smuggler's Run ride, which is incredible. Um, if you if you look at my channel, guys, there's actually a video of me um, doing that ride for the first time. It's a pretty funny watch. Um, I really like this. Now, guys, um, a little tip. They do this and they do a slightly smaller version, which is almost identical, but with less detail. And it's only $5 difference. So naturally, I thought, oh, come on. I've got to pay the $5 extra just to get the bigger one. Um, totally worth it, in my opinion. I'm sure that's not in the way of the camera. Okay. All right, one thing here. You guys might, some of you guys might be thinking, mm, what are these? These are um, Han Solo's Lucky Dice. These were $14.99. I kind of like these because I thought they were a bit like a film prop as well. Oh, and I've got to say, this I think was $25. It was around that price. But I don't mind paying, you know, decent prices for good quality ornaments. So I suppose, I, well, I'm going to show you the thing I most wanted to buy at Galaxy's Edge. Because I am a massive Star Wars nerd. I'm not afraid to admit that. And when I was a child, I used to have all, all the lightsabers, you know, the plastic ones for kids. And Luke Skywalker's saber from Return of the Jedi has always been my favourite. And I've gone to loads of film conventions in the past, and I've seen all the like professional-looking ones, and I've always thought, oh, I'd love to have one of them. And um, when Galaxy's Edge opened, obviously I read, oh, they're selling film replica ones, as well as, obviously, the ones you can build yourself. So I thought, I've, I've finally got to treat myself to one, and I did. So, this is the box it comes in, which I really, really like. I think this is cool. And um, all the different sabers have different colour um, logos here. So, there she is, my little sexy bit. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, mm. Oh, dear. <coughs> That's one for the blade. Pretty real, isn't it? Anyway. Apologise for that, that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> <coughs> Here we go. This this is just incredible. I mean I mean, I, they actually they let you um so let me just the, the name of the store. What's the name of the store? Dot com does. That's the um store at Galaxy's Edge where you can buy the lightsabers. And um where they are, they you know, you, you say to the um cast members, Oh um, can I look at this one? And they let you hold them and um, you can get the blades for them and you can, you know, put them on with a blade and just an incredible experience. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what these are like with a blade after I've shown you everything. Yeah, this was like a dream come true, finally, getting this lightsaber. And they feel so sturdy too. And they, they don't feel cheap at all in the slightest, which was my worry. I thought, oh, they might be a bit tacky, but for the prices, you expect a good quality. And this was $129. Some of you might watch it thinking, oh my god, that's a lot of money. But something I wanted. So the lightsaber obsession didn't stop there. Um, I did end up buying a second one. The only reason I brought a second one was because I managed to save a lot more money on the trip than I thought I was going to. So, here. This is the classic Skywalker saber. So this is one you'll see Luke get in at the start of... Um, 
a new hope. And obviously this is the one that Rain now uses. Or possesses, I should say. Um, this one does feel a bit heavier, actually. That's so cool. I mean, obviously the Luke one was the one I wanted most, but I thought this is, you know, the classic one. So I thought, yeah, that's the one I'm going to get. I mean, it's been so many different scenes. And my lightsaber just fell down. <laughs> Didn't even use the force that time. It's a bit of a crappy joke, wasn't it? <laughs> So one thing I'm going to show you before I show you my um my um the saber I built myself are these little crystals. So these are kyber crystals, and basically you can just obviously keep them in display, or you can put these in the sabers you build yourself. Because when you do the um, lightsaber experience, you have to choose one colour for your saber. I went with purple, but I was going to buy all the crystals anyway because I thought oh, I might just display them in one of the one of the boxes that the um, professional sabers come in. But the red one has a bit of a story attached to it. So um, when these first came out, they were packaged with the others, but you can get black ones in the red. You could well you used to be able to get black ones in the red boxes, and obviously they're supposed to look hidden like these, but. People worked out if you shine lights up to them, you could you could tell if they were black. So they only sell the red ones in like um, a big bag of them. So you have to pick out just which one you like. Which is a bit of a shame, but yeah. So these are twelve ninety nine on their own. Um, yeah. So what? So you got red, you get white, blue, yellow, green, and purple. And they do look really cool in the um, lightsaber because I've tried them all. I recommend the white one, that has a really, really cool sound. So, the piece la resistance, as I said, Viva la France. So as you can see, this is um, almost like a, um, like a golf case, really, I suppose, like a golf club case. Um, one of the good things, I thought this was really good, because one of my worries about building the sables, I was thinking, with the blade, how the hell am I going to get back on the plane? Um, Luckily, I read online that they come with these and security is totally fine. They let them go through, you know, on the planes and everything. So, the lightsaber experience is pretty pricey, but I would say it's worth it just to do it at least once. I mean, I, I totally got into it and it was a bit of a treat for myself too. It was on my birthday. So, this is, this is why I can't get it out. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, <laughs> hit the wall. This ain't going too well, is it? So, here it is. So like I said, this experience costs um, $200. You get a choice of four different main designs. And I think then again, once you've chosen your design, you get two slightly different.